Hey, it's Supermoon Tarot here, back at it again with another pick a card. Today we are going to be looking at signs you will see when meeting the one. Yes, this is very important because in our journey to find that special someone, there are a lot of what I like to call false contenders. Uh, there are a lot of people who might seem like they are it, but it's just not. Or it's a nice relationship, but they're not the one. And it's really helpful to have some little clues that will point things out, especially because, fun fact, if you do meet your soulmate twin flame, it doesn't mean you're not going to have arguments or disagreements. And so when you have these moments with your special somebody, you're like, man, we're just, we're not getting along right now. We're not in sync. Like, are they the one? They still could be totally the one. You totally could be on the right path. Everything could be fine. But either way, we're going to look at it to kind of make it a little easier for you to know if that person is it. Um, as you can see, I picked some cute little flowers from my own garden. Pick whatever card deck resonates with you most. We've got group number one, two, three, and four. Go down to the description where uh, I have labeled the timestamps below. Also, if anybody knows how to actually put timestamps in their description that's clickable, please tell me. I would be happy to make it a lot easier for you guys rather than scrolling around in the video yourself manually. But either way, <laughs> pick whatever uh, card deck resonates with you and let's start with group number one. Group number one. Let's look at the signs you will see when meeting the one. Group number one, the one. <laughs> Um, okay, your first tarot card is the Hierophant Upright. Three of Cups Upright. Judgment Card Upright. Okay, so I can just say off the bat that Spirit's telling me this as well. This doesn't, remember, this is a general reading, but um, some of you who are in school right now are going to meet your special person in school. But we're going to get to that. Um, don't worry, I'm going to read it for people who are not in school right now. As well, we have Knight of Wands in Reverse. Four of Wands in Reverse. Why are you being asked to test? Sorry, uh, just trying to understand some stuff going on. Three of Pentacles in Reverse. The lovers in reverse. What is going on here? Oh, okay. Seven of wands upright. Okay, I know what's going on now. Alrighty. Yep. Three of swords in reverse. That makes sense. Oh, and yay, the world upright. Okay, so um, tarot does not need to be read chronologically. In fact, um, messages are often more intersected and kind of scattered. But uh, coincidentally, this happens to be the ending conclusion of your spread, and the world is about a successful conclusion, so it's kind of a wonderful coincidence. Anyways, okay, give me a second to understand what's going on here. Okay, um... I still have some questions but I, I'm just gonna read what I see right now. Okay, so the Hierophant, upright, Three of Cups, upright, and the Judgment card, upright. If you are in school currently, you are going to meet the one, I don't know why I'm putting quotes around this, the one, <laughs> um, at school right now, which is awesome. Um, this is not a study group situation. This would be kind of like a friend of a friend situation at a party. Uh, hold on, spirit, okay, spirit, Okay, Spirit's telling me that if you are currently in school right now, this specific, this is like very specific, um, you'll be going to a friend's room to go hang out with them. This would be like a dorm type situation. And they will have someone there that you do not know. And that person will have someone else that both the roommate, maybe the roommate will know them like kind of casually, and you will for sure not know that person. That indirect indirect last person that's your person that's them that's your special person so <laughs> anyways besides that now let's read for everybody else because the situation still works whether you're in school or not if you're not in school the higher font 
you are at a place in your life, and I kind of get the vibe when I look at the Judgment Upright, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the uh, Three of Pentacles in reverse, that this motivation to update your skills or abilities is coming from kind of an insecure place, or maybe you just kind of psychically felt you needed to do that because you're going to be asked to test those abilities, but we'll get to that. So the Hierophant Upright is about updating your abilities. It can also mean you developing a new skill or ability, but either way, there is something where you're spending extra time improving yourself in that. Again, this can relate to school, but if it's not, think of this at a time when you're at work and you're like, okay, if I take more tests, I'll get that promotion or my boss will look at me a little more seriously. Um, this could be just your everyday life where you're like, oh, I feel that I could individualize myself more as a person if I kind of could rely on and relate and be like, oh, I'm someone who rock climbs and feel like motivated by that. This can also refer to spirituality. Um, as well, so if you're really, uh, you know, meditating a lot, deepening yourself, there's just a general sense of self-improvement. Also with the Three of Cups upright, um, this does talk about how you're going to meet your special someone through social circumstances, but this is actually about, I, I kind of get the vibe that you took, you bit off a little more than you can chew. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so you're being social, and you meet your special social person through being social and whatever, but you decide to take on this, I can't tell if you're being pressured by the group, this is why I'm starting to have difficulty reading this particular spread, I can't tell if you're being pressured by the group, or you just are having so much fun you feel motivated to become the kind of host or person leading the event and the party. This uh, Three of Pentacles talks about being a leader, and the Four of Wands in reverse talks about being like the host of the party, the person uh, making it happen and uh, allow giving others the opportunity to share in your fun and kind of creating it and manifesting it and starting it and everything like that. Um, anyways, the point being is you're like, you know what, I'm going to be the person that gets us all the concert tickets or uh, hosts a little get together at my house. Either way, there's a lot of testing your abilities and strengths, which is why I wonder if you started to develop the ability because maybe while you're having a lot of fun you're starting to kind of question do I feel confident maybe I can you know gain some skills and then I can kind of show everybody my skills I got this I've got confidence or if psychically you just were like I need to work on my skills and self-improvement and then you felt confident enough to step up to the task like I said there's a lot of gray air going here but again this is also a general reading so it's probably why I'm getting so many like vibes going on anyways so you're learning stuff, you're being social, you decide to start leading the course and everything like that. But the big reason why this is all happening is because it doesn't necessarily go in your favor um, at first. Uh, it looks like you're a little lost or disgruntled. Part of me and the part where I was kind of hesitating before and jumping uh, whatever the term is, like when you're jumping too fast, you want to, I think like 10 things at once, so it's kind of hard for me to do these readings at times. Anyways, I wonder if you were becoming too much of like a workaholic and by the time you went to go be social, to take on the extra task of leading the social group was kind of wearing you out, because either way, as you took on the initiative to lead, it kind of wasn't um, going necessarily your way. Uh, the Knight of Wands is somebody who has the best intentions. They want to have fun, but they are not grounded enough to take on that responsibility. And in fact, if they are given that responsibility and they take it on, it can actually kind of fall apart, a lot of uh, slip-ups, errors. Um, it can kind of be a detriment to other people. And um, this is somebody who, think of it as like you all go out and you hang out, but they, uh, they're they like, let's, let's go have fun, but then they get three sheets to the wind too quickly. Or um, another good example is somebody who's like, oh, we're having a good time, let's go get something to eat, but maybe they didn't really think out the route to get to the food place or consider that it's maybe not in the best location and by acting irrationally that's what um, led them to uh, put everyone kind of not in a great 
position. But either way, it is definitely motivated by, because again, I talked about how the Knight of Wands is kind of a scatterbrain type of persona, but the Three of Swords in reverse talks about how the reason why there's this motivation to want to take on this leadership role and all this other stuff is it kind of almost feels like you're not, like again, this goes back to the not ground type of point, point of view, you want to be able to feel grounded and find that middle ground with like internally again this is why i wonder if you're going into a lot of spiritual practice before you get all these tests that pop up and um you're desperately trying to make it happen to feel grounded and find that middle ground but it's just unfortunately not working <laughs> it's not working it's not a huge deal um but it's just it, it seems like I, I think it's more like insecurities and in your head because in the three of pentacles this is really seriously pointing out that it's important that you learn the ability to lead and follow but in the lovers card in reverse it talks about how you have a sense of like lack of faith in yourself now interestingly enough this is where your the one pops in so as you're kind of going through this situation they pop in to kind of help restore your uh, gusto, your spirit, this could either be through pepping you up and being like, no, you can do this, don't, I thought it was, I had a great time, or whatever the situation is, or they just kind of, by just, by proximity of knowing them, and you know, often when we're in love, we feel like we have that extra strength, um, not, whatever happens, they're the one that helps you get through this, because in the Seven of Wands, this talks about how you're putting up the good fight despite your lack of faith, despite not feeling grounded, but that if you keep moving forward past these uncomfortable feelings and insecurities, you'll ultimately have a successful ending. And this is honestly the guarantee in the world upright, which talks about a successful conclusion that everything works out just fine. Um, either way, the whole leadership and the kind of random wanting to uh, lead other people and everything like that feels to me it, like yes these are signs but for me this is a hardcore lesson the universe is trying to teach you before you meet them because when you're in a relationship uh with this type, type of severity and and you want this long-term type of commitment it's it's a, it's a lot of responsibility and you want the partnership for sure to be equal i think we can all agree that that is uh i, I think we all want that but often for it to be equal it's not just purely everybody feeling the same sometimes somebody needs to take the leadership role in the relationship and other times you need to be able to hear out your partner and follow them and that's where the three of uh, pentacles is super important and one of the like leading motifs of the deck that you're kind of going about all of this to gain the confidence to gain the the certainty of your abilities with the proven results of what you can accomplish and that you need to be able to when you go into this relationship that like maybe it's not always perfect but you're gonna you're gonna hear everybody out and you're gonna keep pushing through you're gonna you're gonna learn to um, believe in what you don't necessarily see yet like like if it's gonna turn out okay you're gonna you're gonna be able to again going back to the reoccurring idea of like leading and following so either way um, you're gonna meet them at this kind of unusual I don't really hear about this circumstance ever so this is kind of a weird circumstance but either way you're gonna meet them they're gonna give you that motivation everything's gonna ultimately work out and you're gonna have met them so woo, all good things <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did reading it uh, as you can tell from my voice i just love doing this please consider giving it a like and a subscribe it helps out the channel like you would not believe but either way let's get ready for Group number two. Group number two. Let's look at the signs you will see when meeting the one. Your first tarot card is Queen of Swords upright. Four of Swords upright. Eight of Wands in reverse. I'm kind of already getting a vibe you're being watched from a distance which sounds super creepy, <laughs> but sometimes it's very sweet and romantic, and in this case it is. Page of Wands upright. I can feel like Spirit is telling me that's the case too. Knight of Pentacles upright. Queen of Swords, ooh, twice. 
But in this particular case, Queen of Swords in reverse, um, they don't have anything to do with each other because... This is kind of like a driving emotional force I can see, and this is more, um, this is actually your special person. Five of Cups in reverse. Oh, and right under Four of Swords. The Tower. I can already see stuff starting to happen. Knight of Wands. Yep, okay. In reverse. And the star upright. Okay, that's interesting. Give me a second to look at these cards. Hmm. Okay, so... Right off the bat, we're going to talk about where, um, where you're at in your life. Um, this is like, you're like in an emotional kind of energy of being super driven in the, uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is, um, you know, you have a certain mindset that you, okay, you're very motivated. <laughs> That's the best way of putting it. You're really motivated. You're like, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and it's going to equal A, B, and C, and I've got this, and I'm moving forward. But the thing is... This spread is heavily deals with social media being uh, a really important like sign and thing that is the motif of the spread in um, Page of Wands upright. So you've kind of you're kind of in a position where being so driven, you like to occupy your mind a lot, and you're just you just want to always be mentally stimulated and have this feeling of moving forward. You want to feel that momentum. You want to work towards that momentum. Momentum. That is a very important sign. That's kind of the catalyst to everything else. So you start kind of messing around on social media. You want to feel the feeling of clicking around, pushing buttons. Again, a sense of interaction and motivation. But with this driven sort of personality comes somebody who is always thinking in the future and thinking of what they would like to receive and what they're working towards. So you're not really ever giving your brain that break to be like, okay, I worked and now I stopped working and I'm resting and I understand I'm working towards this goal and now I'm going back to working and so on and so forth. There's very much this okay, now I should be relaxing and resting, but I'm only seeing on social media what other people are achieving and I haven't quite received yet. So it feels like you're being choked. It feels like you haven't got it yet. And unfortunately, it starts to cause feelings of the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who has got all the knowledge. You're aware of the potential of what other people can produce. There's other ideas happening there um, that you're aware of. You could either be interacting with, like example, if you had your own business, you're like, oh, that's a good idea. I could do that or whatever. But there's a general, like you're aware of everything and unfortunately it's causing you to feel very bitter. Um, this could also be a card that can refer to kind of lashing out verbally. Maybe you're a bit snippy, but I don't really get that vibe. It's more of an internal uh, thing that I'm getting that you're just it's social media doesn't become fun anymore um, Your positive driven mindset is kind of getting spoiled by just entertaining yourself in the off time Like something that should be entertaining and positive is becoming negative unfortunately um, But something uh, like dramatic happens in the tower and we'll get in that but uh, I, I, I didn't want to forget the um, Knight of Wands because what I'm trying uh, Okay, sorry. I'm getting tongue-tied you're doing the social media, and as you have these uh, these feelings of resentment start to come in with the energy of wanting to accomplish something, when you see other people accomplishing things that you aren't, this is when the a Knight of Wands in reverse kind of comes in. This is where everything starts to kind of build up and become what will be the Four of Swords in reverse and the encounter of your person. You're starting to feel really scattered. It talks about high energy, um, but unfortunately in a very scattered, um, unground, ungrounded way kind of thing, which is unfortunate. Um, either way, you're not feeling great mind and spirit, 
and something happens in the tower. Either way, there's like in the Eight of Wands, this talks about the sense of like really fast movement coming to a quick standstill. And initially I thought like, okay, you're, 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 you got really pent up with these bad feelings and you decided you're, you're kind of really accomplishing a lot through the driven type of mindset, but you're going too quickly through social media in the building of resentments and acknowledging and like going on people's like you're just kind of bouncing around other people's social sites uh, uh social profiles like too quickly and it's just an implosion of being like i gotta get off this but when i see the tower and the five of cups here right underneath the four of swords upright it looks like something dramatic happens like life altering life changing i'm thinking that you potentially see something on social media that really shakes you up Something just makes you want to get off social media and, or maybe it's the realization you should, but with the tower, it doesn't necessarily mean something negative. Um, it could be, unfortunately, especially being next to the Knight of Wands and talking about that disarray of mind and body and spirit and also in the Five of Cups, the idea of accepting loss. So I think something dramatic does happen that really makes you be like, I can't do this anymore. I've got to pull back. So this is where the Four of Swords comes back, um, comes in and you start to kind of take a break and, and uh, you're like, I got to get off social media and just kind of regather myself. It doesn't necessarily mean something dramatic. So like, let's say the driven part of you was a job. It doesn't mean you're going to like lose your job in the tower and then take a break. Not necessarily um, at all. It's just, I think you do step back motivation wise because you kind of need to reset your mindset just because of how much you've been negatively influenced from social media and there's just a withdrawal and pulling back and resting and relaxing it's not so much of a self-analysis i think you're uh because i didn't get the hermit card i think you're fully aware that of what was wrong you just need a break so you take a break you relax and there's a lot of in the queen of wands this is your person this is your person who's watching you from afar which again sounds super creepy, but the intentions are good. You're going to be going out of the house a lot to relax. Um, I'm getting a lot of strong mental images of like parks, specifically parks that would be highly populated. So something a little closer to the city or just like a park that has a lot of people visit it regularly. Um, this could also be a coffee shop. Spirit's also mentioning that this could potentially be a coffee shop. I see a lot of looking through giant windows i get a very intense city destination but either way this is general you might not live near a city either way you're gonna be rest you're gonna go there regularly to kind of chill out and relax and during this time period of healing somebody else who goes there very often will start to notice you and think you're cute and start to see you in the way that you were not currently seeing yourself because again it talks about taking a break you're, you're kind of saw what you didn't have are you doing enough you're kind of in that mindset and they see someone who is hardworking. they see someone adorable they see someone um, they want to get to know either way there's a definite um, they see you for who you truly are which is really beautiful and a them trying to contact you first type of thing and you not anticipating or being aware of any of this um which is really interesting either way i see you getting together right as you're kind of at the end of your like relaxing healing situation again when i talk about the five of cups in reverse this is the idea of accepting loss and then moving forward so again i think that something happens you take a break, you accept that that happened, and right as you're kind of accepting that that's happening, that's when they kind of get up the guts to approach you. But either way, with the star card here, and us specifically asking the question about signs and meeting the one, this is kind of like a really beautiful way of saying, uh, one, it does mention healing, and talks about the whole healing process, but this is a card that says you're on the right path. You're moving in the right direction. Everything you're doing is just absolutely correct follow your gut and and there's very much a following your gut and you know you're doing the right thing when you see you're in harm's way and you actively make the choice to take a break and be by yourself but either way it also points to like you're meant to kind of go through this little shake up it's not that it's good and then bad it's just a thing you go through where you, that enables you to meet the one but the cool thing the star also talks about 
and this being directly underneath the Knight of Pentacles and talking about being driven, is despite this upsetness that goes on, it looks like in addition to, this is like a side note, in addition to signs, kind of, um, well, well this is a sign, and this is, you'd probably also like to know, that this talks about the idea of receiving sort of like uh, some sort of financial funds that will benefit you in a way like it's more than just receiving money it's receiving money and or a positive reputation that can move you forward so if you're like okay i could like uh have more out of life if i had a better apartment maybe your apartment's like bringing you down or you need a better car you're going to then be right around the time that you and this person start to kind of get to know each other and get together right after you've accepted the loss of this tower situation this is when like some money is going to come into your um uh, situation and you're going to be like wow i can finally you know pay get that new car i wanted or i can finally move to a better situation um or, or maybe you just get a claim at work that enables you to have more pull to be able to get a better position whatever it is there's some sort of receiving something that will then benefit you to move further ahead so what so just kind of go with this flow it's going to be great go with the driving go with the social media you'll know when to pull back you'll know when to heal you'll relax you'll accept you'll get over it you'll meet your person who's going to notice you first before you notice them and then it just kind of all beautifully comes together you were on the right path and you get a lot of good stuff coming your way so overall pretty positive um and pretty cool so that's your signs that's your reading <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did as you can hear from my voice i enjoyed doing this a lot please consider giving it a like and subscribing to this channel it helps in ways you would not even uh believe but fully understand <laughs> um but let's get ready for group number three group number three let's look at the signs you'll see when meeting the one your first tarot card is Princess of Pentacles in reverse, which is actually the Page of Pentacles. Seven of Cups upright. I love the Seven of um, Cups. That's really pretty. Continuing on, you have the World upright. Seven of Swords upright. Three of Cups in reverse. I'm kind of getting the feeling and Spirit's actually telling me as well that this is romantic. I'm kind of wondering if this is referring to also romance, but Spirit's telling me this for sure is friendship and this is romance, but uh, we'll get to that. Um, Six of Pentacles in reverse. I'm definitely getting a lack of fulfillment so far in this spread. Yep, Strength card upright, yep. The Emperor in reverse. <gasps> Ooh, but the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a real. Uh, this is like a whole 180 here. This is awesome. Yeah. Okay, give me a second to figure this out. But I already kind of get an inkling of what's going on. Okay, so here are some of the signs that you're dealing with. One is the dating around situation right here um uh seven of cups upright um this is a lot of dating multiple partners but being unable to decide where to dedicate yourself and choosing you know one of them to be with there's there's the there's the like okay this is not dating one person after the other on one or two dates. This is dating a couple people a couple times. Spirit's telling me that some of you are in a situation where some of the dates are so far in distance from the other, you know, like they're so far apart that uh, you're by accident dating like four or five people at once at the same time because no one's technically committed to you and vice versa and by default you're still going on dates with other people but either way there's the conscious decision to date multiple people and you would like to there's the motivation to to pick somebody and make a long-term relationship clearly you're in the mindset to want that you're not dating casually because that's the, that's what you necessarily want but this points to me with the um page of pentacles in reverse that none of them are it it's you're kind of just unfortunately wasting your time your energy money um this is all kind of a bit of nothing but the interesting thing is you're aware of that 
there's a con there's a consciousness going on here when I look at the world upright and the um, seven of swords upright. So as you've dated around, you have had your proverbial world expanded. You have seen things for how they can be and what they are. This again goes to the idea that um, you're no longer so naive and you're aware of how people can think and feel and might not have necessarily liked what you see. It's not, this is definitely not about you being abused, even though the Ember in Reverse is here. Um, this is just more about like, you're like, oh, people can be like that? Cool. Like I'm getting less strong of a vibe of you being dominated or, or manipulated and more maybe like people aren't nice and have ghosted you or have set, shared certain beliefs that have kind of made you be like, ew, people can believe in that? I, I don't know if I can get down with that type of thing. And this has then caused the Seven of Swords upright, which is about you learning to be more uh, be de de discretion? Discretion. To have de more discretion. That's the word. Um, you're aware that because you're dating so many partners and you're, you're not having luck yet finding that person, you don't want to necessarily share everything you, you know, in your deepest, darkest hearts right away. There's a sense of like waiting until people have proven themselves. Understandably so. This usually happens with anybody who's been kind of dating around for a while. Um, you kind of realize like, oh, okay, maybe I should really wait for that special someone because I could be burned quickly or, you know, not necessarily burned, but you're like, oh, it's not special if I share with like 15 other people. And honestly, I think part of that also comes and gets carried over in friendship groups as well as in the bedroom type situation. With the strength card, this is our bedroom card, our sexuality and all that type of stuff. And I get a couple different things going on here with the Emperor in reverse right next to strength. Spirit's telling me, like, the Emperor in reverse is this idea of, like, uh, uh, abuse of power, and if you see it next to the strength card, there's the assumption that it's somebody's abusing power over your sexuality, and, like, that's, you know, but none of these other cards point to, like, you seem fine, you're just kind of jaded by all this dating, and the, and I think there has been some fun strength cards usually upright saying, like, you have a healthy sexual side, but this is more about having difficulty, and again this more relates to the Seven of Cups upright, the difficulty to make the hard decisions. Um, I think there's a lack of knowing like, well if you're wasting time with someone just cut it off sooner. Or like, they're cute and they're nice and you're having an okay time, and you, but you know in your heart they're not it, so what are you doing? And you're having trouble doing it. I get the impression that a lot of that motivation is through you're having a good time in the bedroom, so maybe you're like, well, I'm enjoying myself. You know, I don't know if I necessarily want to cut that off. I mean, if my if the one hasn't popped up yet, I might as well have a good time, which is understandable. Um, there also could be a little bit, I'm not accusing you of this because I don't necessarily think this is the case, but I just wanted to share this. There is the potential that you're using your sexuality um, in a little bit too, um, in excess, not in a negative way, it's never negative to have multiple partners, more of like, I hate to use the term abusing power because that seems so sinister. It's like you know that you could, you kind of have the moves and you can make that happen quicker like you want and maybe get your way the way you know by making doing that but the thing is it's not really doing you any good because you know you're not really you're getting the ability to get what you want from people you don't want anything from that's the best way to put it I figured it out <laughs> but going back to the seven of swords upright this talks about uh again we talked about being kind of pulling back being a little more private not wanting to share these parts of yourself because you're not getting that gratification from um there's nothing fruitful coming on over here with the seven of cups but it also actually um talks about your social situation like i said this could be romantic about the shallowness of the uh situation but spirit tells me this is friendship wise unfortunately you're just kind of in not the most stimulating time in your life no one's really cool dating wise and your friends kind of are flakes and shallow and you're sort of aware of that so you've started to and in maybe in general like you go and have fun with them but you're aware you can't really be yourself and don't 
want to really be yourself around them. That I can see that in the Six of Pentacles in reverse, which talks about not wanting to share that part of yourself and honestly not really want to care or give affection. Um, you're just a way, this isn't like a super guarded type of mood or attitude. There's just like, eh, I don't really feel motivated that any of you guys deserve my like extra presence or hugs or maybe to be there during a rough time. It's almost like you're buying your time, which is understandable. Um, I, it kind of goes perfectly with this motif, which is more your ending note of where you're starting to meet the one and everything kind of beautifully comes together. So like I said, there's a lot of buying your time and so to speak, like you're just bored. You, you're not really dedicated to anything, but you're like, why not just do this type of attitude? But interestingly enough, I don't know what necessarily like kicks this off. It, it's, 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 it just kind of seems to happen out of the blue, to be honest with you. And again, this is a general reading, but out of nowhere, for whatever reason, you start to get very self-motivated. This gets repeated both in the Eight of um, the Coins, Pentacles, um, Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, uh, both. But they both basically say the same thing, which is awesome. So Eight of um, Pentacles is this sense of like diligence, you know, um, you're just really, uh, you're really self-motivated, um, you're working really hard, but the big thing is you're independently motivated. Um, this is somebody who, you know what just clicked in my head that just made me, like as I'm saying these words, you, you figured out other people are not going to f give you the passion in life that you want. So you kind of somehow, something clicks and you're like, screw it, I'm going to do it for myself. I can make myself happy. I don't need to be motivated by these um, other romances that aren't working out or these bad friends. I'm going to go do my own thing. And this is also a card of like great work ethic. So um, lots of detail, lots of hard working. So it seems like it doesn't say specifically that you work on a project. You could. But there seems like a withdrawn from your social situations and just kind of a... I've got this, I'm going to make it happen type of self-motivation of benefiting yourself in a material way. So this could be in your career, this could be a work ethic, this could be a project you're working on. There's some sort of, you're going to go for it. And then this then gets carried over in the Queen of Pentacles, which is where your boo pops in right over here. The um, Queen of Pentacles is, again, about being independently like um, motivated and creating things and stuff like that. But it's also about someone who can like make you know, money and positive things happen and then they want to share it for the benefit of everybody else. So it seems like after you get out of this bored state and you reconnect with the abilities and your natural sense of energy and motivation by yourself, you start to have a lot of general success. This is like the best this is like a really, really good card of somebody who's not only successful, but it's not the card that says, oh, you're going to get, you know, a bunch of funds are going to come your way or you're going to get a promotion. This is somebody who, by their work ethic, is just making it happen. You are actually being given back. That doesn't always happen, but in this case it does because you're somebody who is creative about how they go about doing it you make smart choices and because you're having so much success and f personal fulfillment you're in a better mindset to be then able to give that to everybody and not just give as in like presence and be generous but be generous because you want everybody else to succeed as much as you do. So I'm kind of getting a strong vibe that you're going to meet. Um, you're definitely going to meet your person when like all of these things kind of work themselves out. But there's to me and spirits telling me you're going to meet them in this project, this work situation, as you're going out and about and you're sharing and bringing other people part of your team and making this stuff happen and you're kind of your own personal little lit fire, so to speak, um, that's when they pop in your life. That's when it all happens. So super cool, super awesome spread. Um, if you enjoyed this reading as much as I did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. It helps like you would not believe, but either way, let's get ready for group number four. Group number four, let's look at the signs you will see when meeting the one. First tarot card is Knight of Swords in reverse. And we have five of pentacles in reverse. 
Actually, are you coming out of a relationship? It looks like you're coming out of not a great relationship. Ace of Wands in reverse, yeah. Seven of Wands upright. The Magician in reverse. Interesting. Page of Pentacles upright. Okay, so I can see here's the motivation for leaving. Actually, I think I have to pull more cards, but I think this is where you meet your um, special someone. Knight of Cups upright. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, now I understand your partner. That makes sense with the Ace of Wands now. Yep, the lovers in reverse. It's a relationship that's ending. And Four of Swords in reverse. Interesting. Okay. Give me a second to look at these cards. Okay. I'm just trying to like figure this out right here. Okay, so here's your partner that you're currently with or leaving. Remember, this is a general reading. This is the person you're leaving. And this is you, the Five of Pentacles. The sweetie, I might add. You seem like a sweetie from some of your intentions. Really sweet. Um, here is your partner. Here's kind of what made you want to separate. Here's the confirmation of the separation. Yeah, and here is where your focus goes. And a little bit more of the whole reason why you aren't getting together. And kind of like where your mindset's at when you run into and meet the one. Um, interestingly enough, it doesn't go into specifics of like if they meet you or whatever, but this is a general reading. I think it's more important that you're aware of the comfort of knowing that leaving this relationship is a good thing and where you should focus your mindset in order to meet the one. So, let's start off with the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who is selfish. In fact, they are facing away from you. They don't really care. Um about what you want and how it affects you. I can see that they do everything selfishly. And this is also somebody who does some, when they do something wrong or they're in the wrong, there's a lot of not taking responsibility for it. This is the person who's like, but I didn't do that. Or that, what does that have to do with me? Which, um, I don't know if you've ever heard, but no healthy relationship ever <laughs> is never, is, 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 like everybody, is. it's about taking accountability, compromises, a lot of positive stuff when it comes to moving through any rough patch or obstacles or better understanding your partner. Now they seem to use affection. Now this can refer to straight up bedroom activities, but I don't see the strength card. So this is just general affection, like and this can refer to um, hugging, kissing, cuddling, the way they let you know that they think you're special, like just general, we're, we're putting in a roundabout way, affection. It looks like in the Ace of Pentacles in reverse that they use their affection in a ordering sort of sense. If I give you this, then I will give you affection. It seems like they will withhold affection from you if they aren't able to get the things they want. So let's say you call them out on their account, like they're not being accountable for their actions. They would pull back from you um, when it comes to being affectionate. And because you obviously want that affection, you are kind of forced to do what they want. They're not concerned about the well-being of the relationship in the long term. I can see that's important to you when I see the Page of Pentacles. There's a lot of doing stuff that benefits them now and them only and not the relationship or you as a whole. I don't get the vibe that they were trying to hurt you on purpose or they're trying to manipulate you. It's more that they're just, they are going to do what they need to do to get what they want. Um, but the interesting thing is that kind of backfires on them. 
because in the Ace of Wands, I can see that one of the motivating factors for you to leave this relationship was, uh, or to leave this relationship, is that you kind of start to feel a lack of passion for them. They've withheld it too much, made something that's positive a really negative thing, and so you're not really feeling it anymore, so all that's left is their personality, which isn't that great. You're not really into that. Now, the interesting part is when I talk about how I said you're really sweet and I, I think there's a lot of loveliness to you is in the five of pentacles where you're represented. This is somebody who gives second chances. I think it's a beautiful thing if you are able to give second chances. Um, you're able to see that people can change and you're empathetic. But this is also beautifully about somebody who, while they might be capable of it, they also know when not to give second chances. And I think there's a potential that you gave them a lot of, you know, second chances, second, third, fourth, fifth chances, but you kind of hit a point where because of the lack of passion and, may I mention, the uh, being exhausted to the, you know, being pushed to the brink in the Four of Swords in reverse, you're kind of like, eh, this isn't working for me anymore. I want to get out of this. Um, the Lover's card in reverse talks about just straight up the like this already points to a separation but this is like the confirmation that for sure there's a breakup now the four of swords um in reverse talks about a couple things so it looks like by all this um kind of up and down they put you through via via their selfish intentions and when it came to the way they directed their affection it kind of really exhausted the hell out of you um you like how i'm trying to phrase this because there's like a couple things going on here. You, this is somebody who, okay, so on one hand, you're pushed to the brink, you're exhausted. It, it was a lot for you to go through in that way. But it also talks about how you probably need some, you needed some time to relax and maybe reevaluate what you wanted out of the relationship, what you wanted out of you. And they kind of never gave you that opportunity. So again, you were exhausted. You really had your mind clouded for a while by their intentions. But what's so interesting here with the Seven of Wands and where it starts to lead to some of the important signs coming forward and where you need to like focus your energy as you go to meet the one is, so the Four of Swords in reverse says, girl, you are tired, you need a break. You are starting to slip up, mess up. You need to, you need a second. You just need a breather, that's all. But the Seven of Wands upright says the complete opposite. It says your journey is not over. Now, it doesn't mean your relationship with this other person is going to continue. That, to me, looks like it's over. It's more that you start to have certain goals and mindsets for the long term that will benefit you in every way, whether it be your well-being, financially, um, this all kind of ties into your interaction with a partner, and you're aware that you're going to kind of need to still keep pushing forward with energy you don't have. But the nice thing about the Seven of Wands is saying that while you do have to do that, there will be, like, there's a promise at the end of it. It's like knowing you have five more soldiers to take on again, or in this case, six more soldiers to take on, and you know you're going to beat them. You can see the ending flagpole or whatever the destination is on the other side but it's kind of exhausting you wish you didn't have to take care of these last six soldiers you wish you could just get to the end point so you're kind of exhausted so it's asking you how to keep pushing through nonetheless so this is then when we get to kind of your mindset and still nonetheless making the putting the energy towards being affectionate um being in a relationship it's not, there's there's nothing about this spread that says you're closed off or you seem pretty like this past relationship didn't ruin anything for you wanting to be affectionate and receive affection. It's just you're kind of tired of, you know, relationships in general and the exhaustion it takes, to, even if it's a good one to put in. And it's asking you, you're going to kind of meet your partner when you're still pretty exhausted and you have to move forward and move ahead in that way. Now, what gets kind of relayed here why you wanted to also leave this re other relationship and kind of where your mindset is when you go into the next one is here in the the magician uh in reverse and the page of pentacles so the magician in reverse does talk about how your last bow was like a fraud with his like you know oh i love you so much baby no you don't honey it's just a bunch of babies and sweeties it's it's all it's not real 
But it also talks about the idea of, like, when it comes to your own belief system, like, are you following that? You might not be following that. You know, are you being true to yourself um, in every sense of the word, both belief system, personally, ethically, all that different stuff. And I think you that kind of came into question when you started to realize that this wasn't somebody you could build a long-term relationship with. Because there's, there's very much this conscious effort where you want to have affection and have your traditional relationship, but you're very much in the headspace when I see the Page of Pentacles that you're like, okay, well, I want to have someone I'm happy with, but I also want to see some, be with someone I can depend on where we have a normal relationship and instead of spending our time going up and down in drama, we're talking about buying a house together, we're talking about investing in cars together. There's a sort of building a better life for tomorrow together with the Page of Pentacles. Um, this is uh, all talking about Things that you will do right now, proof right now in the near future, that will build for a better tomorrow. This also points to me that, um, and Spirit's telling me, that your person that's going to come in your life, the one, the signs, is you're going to receive an actual physical gift. Um, I feel like this is a gift that is more than just flowers this is a clear indication that they really take the relationship seriously and also are in the same mindset as you where it comes to building a better tomorrow together so when you get together with them you're gonna be coming out of a relationship you're gonna be hella exhausted but you're gonna have to kind of keep pushing through this is gonna be someone who also cares about you know is it really respects and is in the same mindset as you of wanting to like believe like worrying about their belief system making sure they're being true to themselves in that kind of way um but also caring about a better tomorrow by working on it today so this is definitely like a partner you can depend on which is really awesome so be prepared to meet them and somehow cultivate energy you don't have. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. As you can tell from my voice, I love doing this. But either way, consider giving it a like and a subscribe. It helps out the channel like you would not believe. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!